एवरीवन वेलकम यू टुडे इस वीडियो इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग बिकॉज इन टुडे इस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर विद यू सम स्टॉक्स व्हिच आई बिलीव आर करंटली इन वंस इन अ लाइफ टाइम अपॉर्चुनिटी लाइक दे हैव करेक्टेड फ्रॉम देयर हाइस एंड नाउ दे आर अवेलेबल एट सम वेरी गुड लेवल्स एंड यू नो इन दिस स्टॉक्स दिस इज वेरी गुड अपॉर्चुनिटी टू अकोमोलेट बिकॉज Uh, they can generate some very good returns in the future i will tell you the reasons so do watch the full video these companies are very interesting and they will of course generate great returns in the long term so the current price the crash is very very good opportunity to enter in this companies in my opinion and i believe uh, they can be some very good bets for the future so let's see which are these companies that i have selected for you today let's look at the prices where one can enter so let's start the video let's look at the names let's see the first stock now this company if you see it was uh, it has given around 700% of returns in the last 2 years that's very good around 65% in the last 1 year now you can see that in the last 3 month this stock is down 14% in the last 1 week this stock is down 13% so the stock has corrected and now it is giving us very good opportunity to buy at lower levels the dividend yield for this stock is around 0.97% and if you talk about this company it is mainly into generic api and generic formulation business having manufacturing plants at visag its main market is lmic that is low and middle income group countries it's mainly into supplying apis and formulations for hiv aids due to integrated operations and strong command over cost it can supply drugs at a very competitive price and enjoys a lion share in the segment it also has a custom synthesis business accounting for 11% of the revenue it recently acquired a majority stake in a biotechnology company from bangalore and the company right now is highly focused on the arv anti retroviral apis and formulations it wants to direct the same and in api it's in the oncology segment but this business may not be scalable hence it's diversifying into cardiovascular and diabetic api now in formulation it's expanding capacity to non arv and sharper focus is on synthesis division so that revenue share can go up from present 10% to 20% and the company has announced a capex of 1500 to 1700 crore of which 50% would be spent on api while the balance 50% would be spent equally between formulation and synthesis now the company did deep bottleneck in the formulation division which went operational in april 2021 but is expanding capacity by 100% going live in phase manner by october 21 that is this month and would be operational by end of fy22 they should help to expand the top line of the firm so the name of this company is lorus labs now this stock you know has already given us multi bag of returns i had shared this stock very early when it was trading at very low price and it gave us humongous returns in the last you know year now this stock is now has given some corrections and now it is looking attractive now if you talk about some more details for the year ended march 21 the company reported sales of around rupees 4814 crore as compared to march 2020 numbers of around 2832 crore and it enjoyed a healthy ebitda of 33% net profit of the company improved smartly to rupees 984 crore growth of almost 300% now the company managed to report growth mainly due to gaining market share and product expansion the company did not increase the price nor intends to do the same in fy22 the company is confident that it will maintain its growth trajectory as it has a healthy order book position in formulation and api business but the real you know change in this firm that is a real you know multi multi year multi leg you know growth in this firm will happen from fy23 when shares of arv api gets reduced as other apis will start contributing also the custom synthesis business would have started growing faster than api and formulation and this can result in the re rating of the company it has high management deficiency with a high roc of around 16.29% this company has declared positive result for the last eight consecutive quarters it also has healthy long term growth as net sales has grown by an annual rate of 26.9% and operating profit at 47 0.36%. So now let's look at the chart of Lorus Labs and let's see you know when should you buy. So this if you look at it the stock you know after making a higher for around 700 rupees the stock you know corrected 
it was uh, in a correction phase and in the last few days you can see that another stock has corrected and it has been corrected for 650 to just around 530 i think the current price is also very attractive that is around this level uh it is near the 200 period moving average which is very very interesting because after a long time you know this stock has come near that level even if there is correction uh the coming quarter i believe can be a little weak so if there is correction that would be great opportunity to add this stock you can even buy at the current price start accumulating like 25 percent of your you know, desired quantity at the current price and then if there is suppose some more correction 500 460 would be very very good you know prices to enter this stock so that's why i believe you know this is a once in a lifetime opportunity because i don't think uh, you will see this kind of correction in this type of quality stocks uh, regularly so it's very you know rare that you see corrections in this kind of companies and you should make use of it and you should you know try to accumulate uh, this quality companies in you know every you know every dip every correction is an opportunity according to me and you can slowly add this stock at every point it is 520 460 400 you know the more the stock you know crashes the more it is good for you because you will be able to buy more and more of this stock in the long term uh, but of course i believe uh, this stock will generate some very good returns in the long term and it can perform very well so that's why i am sharing this stock with you today so this is the first company in which i am very bullish on so every correction is an opportunity now there is another company that is more you know uh, it has more potential than this stock so that's uh, another very interesting stock uh, which is very very great and uh, in that stock also some correction has come and which i believe is a very good opportunity to buy you know this company now let's talk about this stock so if you look at the returns now this stock has given you know very good returns in the last one year 286 percent and majority of our you know paid members as well as subscribers i have shared this stock with you when it was trading at very low prices and they have enjoyed you know this returns in the stock but now if you see that the stock is down 16 percent in the last one week so that's a very you know good opportunity because uh, now the stock you can try to buy because many people missed the bus and they were not able to buy the stock because it had you know gone a lot higher but now there is correction so that's i think a good opportunity so you should you wait for more correction when should you buy let's look at the details and the stock has a dividend yield of around 0.7 percent so that's also good now of course the stock has you know generated very good returns so returns wise it is good now let's talk about this company it is primarily involved in the business of generation transmission and distribution of electricity presently the company has a total capacity of 12,800 mw from its various thermal hydro renewable whr power projects across india and out of the total capacity thermal accounts for 69 percent followed by solar wind hydro and waste heat recovery the company also owns 4000 megawatt ultra mega power project at mundra based on supercritical coal technology and going forward the company wants to increase its capacity concentration from thermal sources to clean energy sources and it aims to expand its clean and green capacity to 60 60% of total by 2025, 80% by 2030 and achieve carbon neutrality by phasing out of thermal projects by the year 2050. So they have a long term view, they are bullish on the long term, they have already planned what they want to do in the long term. Now the company is omnipresent in the industry with operations in the field of generation of electricity from thermal and renewable sources, transmission and distribution of electricity and other services like EPC, ONM, etc. And company's main focus is on renewables, transmission and distribution as well as customer centric business of solar rooftop, solar pumps, microgrids, EV charging, energy services, home automation, floating solar and others. The company is a leader in most renewable energy segments in the country. It is a leader in rooftop solar installations, solar water pumps and has dominant position in the growing electric vehicle charging stations market in India. The firm is moving away from coal based business to renewables and the name of this company is Tata Power Company Limited. Tata of course. This company, if you remember, of course, I had shared this with you earlier as well. Now, since it, there has been a correction in the stock, uh, I thought why not share again this stock with you. So this company, if you see long term value migration away from public to private discoms as a result of electricity amendment bill 2021 is of course a big positive. Uh, Tata Power is India's largest integrated power company with a generation capacity of 12,000 megawatt reaching 12.1 million customers. It is the number one solar EPC player seven years in a row with more than 30% in clean energy. They have started investing in intellectual property and have you know, received two patents in FI21. Tata Power, formerly a part of the three entities jointly known as Tata Electric Companies is a pioneer in technology adoption and is India's largest integrated power company. TPR has started focusing 
or new age businesses in addition to its regulated business of power generation, transmission and distribution, EV charging, solar rooftops, solar pumps, solar modules and cells, microgrid, serialty scale solar EPC, solar RO systems and home automation systems are its new ventures and will drive the business of the future. The company has decided not to invest any further capital into coal based generation. It has planned to move to 60% clean energy by FI25, 80% by FI30 and 100% by FI50. We can expect you know, commissioning of 900 megawatt of its renewable energy projects over the next 6 to 9 months. It has doubled its solar PV manufacturing capacity to more than 1100 megawatt of cell and models under Tata Power Solar System Limited. And the management expects to incur a capex of 7000 to 8000 crore in FI22. Around 50% of this would be for its renewable portfolio, while another 1000 crore is related to Odisha Discoms. Company expects solar EPC to boost up its earnings for the next two years. And the focus is increasingly shifting to clean energy. The company is planning to raise just over 3,500 crore by listing its renewable business. The company has a roadmap to be one of the major players in India in the electric vehicle charging. It has tied up with OEM partners to provide home charging facilities to EV car buyers. It has set up close to 500 public charging points in nearly 100 cities and plans to expand to over 3,000 charging points in the next one year. It has also collaborated with fleet owners which serves as an assured revenue model. So the company plans to extend the charging points to 1 lakh by FI25, which is a, of course a positive. They have collaborated with Central Railway to launch EV charging points at Mumbai's railway station. And the three Ds, which are decentralization, decarbonization, and digitalization, are driving transformation of the energy sector, creating opportunities for new business models like energy ESA services, ES, which is likely to further disrupt the utility sector. Per capita electricity consumption in India is very low compared to global average, providing immense growth opportunities in the sector. And India recorded the highest ever peak power utilization of 190 gigawatt in FI21 despite facing COVID-19 challenges. Even today, the Tata brand carries with it a legacy of high integrity in management and corporate governance. Tata Sons has reposed faith in the company and has bought into 2600 crore of equity share capital on preferential basis and this has resulted in Tata Sons shareholding going from 35.27% in FI20 to 45.21% in FI21. Dr. Praveen Sina is the CEO and managing director of the company and is a PhD from IIT Delhi with over 36 years of industry experience. He is also the co-chairman of the CIA National Committee on Power as also on various industry bodies. He is one of the most well-respected people in the industry. So that's a good sign. And TPR tops the Chrysler ESG score for power companies in India. And N. Chandrasekharan uh, is the chairman of the board. He is the chairman of Tata Group. Under his guidance, Tata Power has started on a journey to maximize digital technology including Tata Power EZ Home Solution for a Connected Home. The company has been generating healthy free cash flows in the last two financial years. It has huge scope and opportunities to to improve its current ESG rating. I firmly believe that it's you know primed for sustainable and clean growth. It has a clear vision to become the benchmark in the utility sector by 2050. So it's a very good company for long term. So if you remember, first time I shared with you when it was sitting at this level, that is here around 120. Now see the stock made a high of 250, and now look at it. You were not able to buy here because it was trading, of course, at a very high price. Now you can see that the stock has given some corrections in the last few days and should you buy now well i think the current price is also good that is 208 that is the current price so let's say 210 is the first buy price 25 percent of your desired quantity you can you know enter at that level then gradually you know buy the stock if there is correction till 190 very good if there is correction till 175 very 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 good you can you know buy a lot of quantity at 175 that would be great price to enter and of course uh, this company in my opinion can generate very good returns in the next five to ten years so if you're a long-term investor i think it's a great opportunity any correction this stock, the more it corrects the more the opportunities for you to you know buy this great company for future so today i shared with the two companies both are very good but uh, in the short term they can you know, see some correction so that's a good opportunity for you once in a lifetime opportunity to buy you know this quality company so uh, of course, do your analysis if you like them. Of course, you can invest at the incorrect levels. I hope you like my analysis. See you again soon with another stock analysis video. Till then, goodbye, take care, happy trading, happy investing.